Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in all data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding tweets rolling averages using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Twitter interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, given a table of tweet data over a specified time period, calculate the three day rolling average of tweets for each user. Output the user ID, tweet date and rolling averages rounded to two decimal places. So we need to calculate the three day rolling average. Keep in mind, there are two nodes. A rolling average, also known as a moving average or a running mean, is a time series technique that examines trends in data over a specified period of time. In this case, we want to determine how the tweet count for each user changes over a three day period. Okay, so basically we are given a table called tweets with three different columns, user ID, tweet date and tweet count. And here is an example. So in this particular example, there is only one user ID and the tweet date is already, you know, arranged in ascending order. So obviously what is the three day moving average? So on particular date, right? So there is no data before this. So, right. So only one data. So two divided by one. So that is going to be two, right? Now for this one, three day moving average. So two plus one divided by two. So one and a half, right? 1.5 on this one, right? So two plus one, three plus three, six divided by three is two, right? Now for this one, so we have three day moving average. So three day moving is okay. Now one plus three plus four, right? Eight divided by three is 2.67 rounded to two decimal places and so on. So you remember that is what we need to do. Right. So basically what we can do is we can simply use the window function, right? Average and use the rows between and preceding and current row stuff, you know, to do that because it, there is a direct way to calculate rolling averages using a window functions, right? So from this table called tweets, we are, you know, uh, to return two diff two columns, user ID, tweet date, and this is the column that we need to calculate. So from this table called tweets, let's return the user ID and the tweet date, right? And then let's make the third column rolling average 3D. So firstly, we need to calculate the average, right? So average of the tweet count column. So we write average of the tweet count. Right now, since this is a window function, we are definitely going to use the over clause, right? So over now the question says for each user, right? So for each user, we need to find out the three day rolling average. So obviously for each user, what does it mean? It means that we need to use partition by user ID, right? So we write that. So partition, right? Partition user ID right and then you need to order by tweet date in ascending order right because we are going to get the three day rolling averages so the date should be arranged in increasing order so we write order by tweet date in ascending order and then we need to calculate the three day rolling average so remember this right so if you start from here, right, start from row one, the cursor is here, right? So basically, like, let's let this is the output, right? So, okay, so the cursor is here and we are saying, okay, two rows before this, right? So two rows before this and the current row, whatever value you have, calculate the average from the tweet count column, right? This is what this means. So if I write, right, rows between two preceding right to preceding and current row right so as i stated right so the cursor is here starts from here two rows before this there is nothing right so two rows before this and current row so it will take okay this value and then say okay from the tweet count column calculate the average since there is only one value so two divided by one and it will calculate the average now the cursor goes to here, right? So two rows before. So one row before you have the value, but there is nothing before that, right? So it will say, okay, two and one. So you have two values. So two plus one, three divided by two is 1.5. Now the cursor comes here and it says, okay, two rows before, right? So two rows is okay. So add these three, uh, then divide by three. Now the cursor comes here and it says two rows before, right? So 
two rows before is one two right so here so you calculate the average from here so you see how the that frame is you know moving downwards as we go down the row right so that is how the moving average is being calculated using this rows between two preceding and current row also you can use rows between or range between there is a slight difference let me know if any one of you knows what the you know that difference is right so calculate that and let's alias this as rolling average three days right so as rolling average three days also this is not complete yet it also says we need to round this average to two decimal places so basically this entire thing right so round this entire thing to two decimal places and this is what we get okay so now i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having so you see for each user id you are having the three day you know rolling average okay so i think this looks good let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how you do it again not a very difficult question if you know about this you know window function where you can calculate the moving average or running average using rows between and preceding and current row right basically setting those frames and what we did was from this table called tweets we just returned the user id and tweet date because that is what we need in the output and calculated the rolling average from the tweet count column you know partitioned by user id because for each user we need to get that ordered by tweet date because we need the three day rolling average and then rows between two preceding and current rows so in total three rows so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video